you for joining Behind the Scenes with 5th Grade. The PA closed their Innisbrook sale this past week. Thank you all to all the families who participated in this fun fall fundraiser. The 5th grade students finished the Lemonade War Stands last week and were able to raise $976.06 for Kenya Connect. We really appreciate all the support we received during this project. Wednesday, November 29th is an early dismissal day. Be sure to pick up your child your children up at noon on Wednesday. We have some spectacular news. Halloween parties and parades are scheduled for this coming Thursday and Friday. The two-day EC classes will be holding their parades on Thursday, October 30th, and the all other EC classes and the lower school classes will make their parties and parades on Friday, October 31st. Please make sure your child brings his or her costume in a plastic bag and is wearing safe shoes. Costumes should not include weapons or any or any kind or be too scary. Thanks for helping us make Halloween a successful event at St. John's. Thank you for tuning in to this week's headlines. Now on to our two spot reports. Hi, my name is Wyatt Olson and I'm reporting live from behind the scenes with fifth grade. I am um, interviewing Miss Mincer and I have some questions for her. Okay. What letter are you working on this week? This week our four-year-old class is working on the letter I, which is why we decided to make ice cream. Very cool. What do you enjoy about teaching here at St. John's? I enjoy teaching the four-year-olds because as we learn our letters, we can incorporate other things with the letters like lemonade for L, I for ice cream, and all kinds of different activities. Very cool. Where will we see you outside of school? You would probably see me rooting on my children as they play lacrosse. I have two boys, a 16-year-old and a 13-year-old. Thank you. Um, I am also, I am again, Wyatt Olson reporting live with Behind the Scenes with Food. Fifth grade. Now on to Hillary with Miss Vance. And then Caroline's going to do our third cup of milk. Here we go, Caroline. Here you go, sweetie. And then Jason will do our last cup of milk that we need. There you go, Jason. Got it, bud? Thank you, Caroline. Okay, and what's the next ingredient well, we need? We need two cups of heavy cream. Two cups of heavy cream. I will switch with you, Mrs. Funk. Okay. Got it. Uh -huh. So we need eight small cups of heavy cream. We're going to go to this table and do eight small cups of heavy cream. So we all have to count. You ready? So if we have tables of four, we have four plus four. What do you think four plus four is, friends? Five. We have four plus four is four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to use two tables of friends for our heavy cream. There's Nathaniel did one cup. You want to pass the bowl to Ashley for me, Nathaniel? Hi, my name is Hillary Morris and I'm reporting for Behind the Scenes with Fifth Grade News. I will be interviewing Miss Vance. So, Ms. Vance, what is Engineering Club? Engineering Club is an enrichment program for the fourth and fifth graders where we go through the design process and create projects. So, this year we've started out um, with a boy and a girl club, and um, we started out last week with a spaghetti tower, so the kids had to figure out the entire design process the ask, the how, the why. Um, and it's a fluid process where you go back and forth and come up with your end product. What are you going to do next? Well, I let the kids choose what they were going to do next. So I think the next project that we're going to have next month is roller coasters. It seemed to be the most popular. So we'll that see where that really goes. Um, how do you think the students are enjoying it? I think it is going to be a great year. I've already seen some amazing designs come out of um, what we have started. So I'm excited for the boy-girl split too because I see a big difference um, in both clubs. So I think it will be an exciting year as we travel through different um, designs. Sounds awesome. So we have just talked with Miss Van. Oh wait, no. Yeah, we just talked with Miss Vance about engineering clubs. So let's go take a peek. What are you 
you guys doing? Uh, um, we built um, a tower using one meter of tape, one meter of string, a big mark mill that held, had to be held up, and 20 pieces of spaghetti. Um, we actually only used six for our final design, but when we were actually building at the actual club, we actually wound up using a lot more, but it became unstable and then toppled. With this structure is about 22 centimeters tall. It's actually 20, but when we built it at the actual engineering club, it was 22. Drew, why did you decide on this? Well, actually, we didn't really, this was not our original plan. Yeah, it was more, um, so we originally had, um, like, something like, more like this. And yeah, we had the sticks. This. They were going up. up. I they were going up, and then we made a triangle at the top, and then we did this design on the top, but then it fell, and so Jacob started breaking the sticks at the engineering club, and I told him, wait, no, no, we could still... Because I had an idea that we could just get to this. And, and, then, and, then, and, 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 then, and then, and then, and then, and then he put the sticks in, and we had that. Yeah, and we wound up winning the contest by a score of 22 to 12 to 10 to 0. Interesting. Thank you, guys. Welcome. Once again, I'm Hillary Morris reporting for St. John's News Lab. Hi, I am Connor, and I'm interview interviewing Miss Prasa. I have three questions to ask you. What time are you doing it? Well, we'll be having our Halloween parades and parties on October 30th and October 31st. Our parade will begin at 1230 both of those days. And our parties will be planned for the morning on both of those days. Our children who are here on the two-day classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays will have their parade on the Thursday. And all the other children will parade and have their parties on Friday, October 31st for Halloween. Okay, I have another question to ask. What is going to be planned? Well, we have planned parties in the classroom and the parents come in and plan some activities and some special snacks for the day and they will come in and be able to participate with their children in the classroom and then we have our parade planned for 12:30 for after they have their parties in their classroom where the children will be in their costume and parade for the parents out on the front lawn and they'll also have a chance to sing some special fall songs okay thank you I have one more question when are you do are you doing any special things well, what makes our Halloween parade so special are the songs that we sing, the traditional songs that we have during our, our singing celebration time with Mrs. Enochian. Some of our favorites, like Gray Squirrel, and In the Fall, All the Leaves Fall Down. And we will be doing some new songs that we have added, an Apple Basket song, and we also have a special poem that we've prepared for our Halloween parade. Sounds fun. Again, I am Connor Schrott, signing off. This is Kelsey King reporting live from behind the scenes with fifth grade. Today I'm going to ask Miss Grubb some questions about Survival Day. Miss Grubb, what is the main idea of Survival Day? Well, in fifth grade we've been working on adventure books for our first novel study. So we read Call It Courage and The K, and those have major themes of survival. So two boys get stuck on an island and they have to survive without the luxuries of everyday life. Um, so in class we've talked about how they've struggled with this, what they've done, how they've built shelter, how they found food, and things like that. Um, so we have our Survival of the Fittest Awards that we're working on now. And then our culmination of our project is going to be just a fun day of survival. Can the kids survive in this situation? Or um, how can you use these tools to make a shelter? Why are we trying new foods today? Our books took place. Um, in the Caribbean, so we're going to try some different fruits that are from the Caribbean, such as papaya and guava and, um, and pomegranates and mangoes, just to try and see what are some foods that they eat down in the Caribbean. What fun games do you have planned for Survival Day? We have seven different activities to do today, so we have a blind obstacle course in um, the K, the boy that was on the island ended up being blind, so he had to do everything to survive while not being able to see. So we have a blind obstacle course, we have a regular obstacle course, we have contests of skill, we have different group challenges, um, we are going to build shelters, see if we can use sticks and leaves to build shelters. So we have a lot of different things planned today.
Thank you. This is Kels this that has been Kelsey King reporting live from behind the scenes with fifth grade. <laughs> Fifth grade is trying different fruits. Do not what are you try eating, ever Adam? Try papaya. Never try it. What are you eating, Adam? No clue. Papaya. Papaya. Do you like, like it? it? Hillary. What does it taste like? Um, mango. Sweet. It's disgusting. <laughs> Hillary, what do you? I mean, Caroline, what are you eating? Good. Never try papaya. It will make you throw up. Drew, what do you think? Coconut. It's pretty good. Exactly, right?